Good afternoon, everyone. Another piece of the new monetary system emerges. Bitcoin ETF pledging to reduce carbon footprints by planting trees. Accelerate is going to partner with Nine Point, which is then going to partner with Crypto Carbons Rating Institute and Carbon X for blockchain based carbon footprint analysis, buying then verified carbon units, all cataloged on the database Vera project issuance. The intertwining of the Initiative for Climate Action Transparency on that page takes you right into the United Nations once again. Synthetic bananas allowing any user to tokenize any asset on the planet. So I could buy 10,000 acres of spores somewhere in the middle of nowhere, load it onto the platform, get my project on Vera, then put it into the digital carbon footprint sales service for sustainability performance on VeChain and reap the carbon credits. And then I can on sell the land, keeping the carbon credit rights to the land like mineral rights. After the carbon credits reach $50 per ton, then I can get on a private jet, fly to Switzerland and use Bitcoin at a five-star resort, creating a new wealth class out of thin air, which is going to be a new form of currency during and after the Great Reset. All of this Biden inflation tax talk, what's it really about? And more importantly, what's the actual effect of inflation on the lives of real people? Joe Biden claims that it's indisputable that his jobs plan is working. This data unequivocally shows that it's not. Well, at least for American workers. Rather, inflation is surging and more than wiping out any wage gains these workers might have experienced. And historically, when inflation spikes, commodities like gold, silver, lumber, and real estate surge. Learn how simple it is to add physical gold and silver to your portfolio ahead of the rise in inflation and predicted price rises. Patriot Gold Group has a no fee for life IRA where your IRA or 401k can be in physical gold and silver and you may be eligible for the no fee for life IRA. Call 1-800-356-4470 and get a free investor guide today. And the knowledge that Patriot Gold Group is Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA dealer five years in a row from 2016 till present. Click the link in the description box below for more information. And now on with the video. Now we keep hearing again and again how much electricity that Bitcoin miners are using. Forget industry and metal smelting and telecommunications and data storage facilities for the governments to monitor you. Forget that. That doesn't count. They're using a lot of electricity. Only focus on Bitcoin miners. That's it. That's where the narrative goes. So to get approval, at least in Canada, Accelerate Financial Technologies is going to be launching an exchange-traded fund or an ETF, but they promise that they're going to reduce carbon footprints by planting trees. So for every 1 million Canadian invested into the carbon-negative Bitcoin ETF, they're going to plant 3,450 trees. Swing over financial post covering some of this same story. Nine point seems to be the center point here. Along with One River Asset Management, crypto funds are backed by billionaire Alan Howard. They're developing a system that calculates the carbon cost of mining and buying credits to offset the impact. So trees are going to be an integral part of this. Forest land will be an integral part of this. The company said it's building carbon neutrality into Bitcoin and Ethereum. You can already see the writing on the wall. Everything from this point forward is going to have to be carbon neutral. They're pushing it so heavily in the transportation system by 2035 to be carbon neutral. But now any workings in the financial industry related to cryptocurrency are going to have to follow the same scheme. So there's going to be value associated with these carbon credits. Digging a little further, Nine Point is going to be partnering with Crypto Carbon Ratings Institute, which will also work with Carbon X to provide carbon analysis, the footprint analysis. Now, what does that mean for you and I? Climate neutral certified is the next thing you're going to see. Remember when you bought coffee and it was rainforest certified and all those certifications that came out of nowhere? So CarbonX is going to purchase the carbon credits 
four nine point to prove that they're running a carbon neutral mining operation. So this brings us over to Carbon X and the Verified Carbon Units, VCUs. This is all new vocabulary, which will absolutely come to the forefront within the next year or two, probably faster in the Great Reset. Very last line there, publicly available on the Vera registry. So what it is, if you have a project, you register with Vera. I'm on the forestry and reforestation side of this, how easy it is to make money from an established forest, buying it for pennies on the dollar from impoverished nations and loading it in on this same system here to reap the carbon credits. It's about removing one ton of carbon dioxide. So currently when you're looking at forests, you're looking at about eight to 13 tons per hectare of CO2 sequestered per annum. So a little bit deeper dive into the Vera database here this is the month of issuance of different projects. The only thing I don't like is 2017 and 2021 are so close in color that it's really difficult to find a trend in here. So going to the Vera newsletter for Q1 2021, here's where you really get to see the meat of it all. The trajectory from 2015 to 2021 shows massive, I mean massive institutional push into this system here up to 40 million tons of voluntary offset credits. And this is just one single database. But digging further into it, what I'm finding is an enormous amount of Chinese projects are listed in here. I'm going to say 80% plus China listed. So they're already on to it. Put your forest on the database. Reforestation, afforestation means just protect already what's there. And just start making money by holding the land. And looking at the regions that are already into this, the United States is super far behind, as in most things crypto, most things tech. You know, the U.S. is still a dinosaur lagging behind by light years compared to Asia. But then South and Central America taking the second position, and then Africa eclipsing the United States exponentially there at 25%. And jumping over to United Nations reports on voluntary and verified carbon credits. That giant spike is 2021, and you can see everywhere this is being pushed. Now, if you look at Vera and you go through the website, which I've linked below, I've linked everything below in the description box tonight so you can do your own research. They're partnered with the Initiative for Climate Action Transparency, along with the Verified Carbon Standard, Land Scale. Again, these all intertwine on just owning forest and you can make money. But ICAT is where you need to look to see who is intertwined with that, being a major sponsor of Vera, all oh, the same old players, United Nations, World Resource Institute, Rainforest Alliance. It's an interlooping monster of tentacles that rolls in on itself. And then I looked and I saw another carbon neutral ETF, this time in South America. But One River is working with Uruguay and its firm Moss earth to do the same thing purchase blockchain tokens to prove their reduction in carbon emissions and i said you know haven't really seen much of this around in the blockchain sphere and lo and behold mco2 tokens available for purchase so companies are coming on the blockchain they're buying these carbon credits if you will from the programs that are up and running that are showing carbon being taken back out of the atmosphere i.e owning a forest and you can get that up on Uniswap and IDEX. Those are the only two exchanges that I knew of. These others, I'd Flow BTC, Mercado, Bitcoin. I don't know any of those, ProBit. And you can do your own research and see what the prices are moving. But here's the thing. The carbon, as it was sitting over the last few months, was between 3 and $8 per ton. But the carbon offset prices are supposed to reach 50 to $100 per ton by 2030. And then NASDAQ suddenly gets involved and buys a carbon removal marketplace, meaning the same exact protocols that allow you to trade, buy, and execute these carbon credits for business. Swing over to VeChain, who's also launching a blockchain platform to encourage carbon data reporting. This allows supply chain management. Again, it comes back down to the shipping and that whole protocol to get all shipping and logistics zero carbon by 2035 
this is going to be the way that you're going to report it on the blockchain. So you can't fib the numbers. And also, it'll prove ownership of who has the carbon credits. So the supply chain management system is going to be right through VeChain, the digital carbon footprint service. And this says right here, quote, allows enterprise users to log key data and integrate it with third-party assurance providers and partnership networks to verify ownership. The data can be transformed into a new kind of value. And this is what I'm saying. They're going to use the forest of the world to get free money. They're creating wealth out of nothing. A new asset class is being formed here in front of your eyes. VeChain's blockchain-based digital carbon footprint will provide a scalable platform. See, that's the key. They're going to need to scale this to global, just like we do with stock markets and fiat currencies. It's got to be scaled, and then it needs to be tracked and reported, and there needs to be a chain of custody associated with that, too. And then the initiatives that are all these others, like Vera, across the entire value chain, which means you walk into 7-Eleven and buy a stick of gum. There's going to be a carbon footprint associated with that. Bought and sold on an open market. And even in the interview, they talk about Alexandre Paris, Associate Program Officer at United Nations. Right there you go. Framework on Convention on Climate Change. Blockchain can contribute to greater stakeholder involvement, transparency, and engagement to help bring trust and further innovate solutions to fight against our changing planetary atmosphere, leading to enhanced action, meaning full compliance using the law to make it law. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Now, anybody can do this at the moment. I'm not suggesting it. I'm just saying after I read all this, it's so easy to see the play that's going on here. Now, around the planet, there's an enormous amount of land and just bare real estate. I mean, forest, that's hillsides that you can't even touch. You would never think about building literally in the middle of nowhere where you can pick it up for a few dollars per acre. All you would have to do is buy that land, register it as a project in the Vera system as a protection of forestry. A thousand acres could cost you a couple thousand dollars to pick that up. I mean, I'm talking in the middle of nowhere that there aren't even roads to get out there, but tracts of land like that are available for purchase around the planet. You load it up into the database for Vera. You start getting carbon credits between 8 and 13 tons of CO2 removed per hectare out of your plot of land. Since it's in the project database, you're going to get those carbon credits back to your account all through the blockchain, and those will then be convertible to things like Bitcoin. And at the same time, if you decide to not sell your land, you can hold on to it for value increase, or just like this, you can tokenize it and then on-sell it. Now, part of that would be on-selling the carbon credits, or you could split that off and say you own the land, but I own the carbon credits, just like we have mineral rights, you're going to have carbon credit rights to the land as well. Now, you can see this so clearly where it's going. And since everything is digitized and you do have those carbon credits with value that are going to be approaching $50 to $100 per ton, when you're looking at, say, 13 tons of CO2 sequestered per hectare at $100, you're going to be looking at $1,300 per year coming in. Now, imagine if you have 1,000 acres that's just literally in the middle, in the Yukon or somewhere way up in the middle of the Central African Republic, you'll be making millions of dollars a year for simply holding a piece of forest that can then be on transferred or sold through NFTs. Convert that back to fiat currency, convert it into Bitcoin, and then you can find yourself on your private jet flying to Switzerland, staying in a five-star luxury hotel in the Swiss Alps that now accepts Bitcoin, the Chedi Adermatt. This is by the elite for the elite. That's why they want everybody out of the countryside. This is why they want everybody out of farming country and all compacted into the cities. Because at that point, they can buy up the entire planet's forests and run their carbon credit schemes. And everybody will still make hundreds of billions of dollars that then they can give you for your universal basic income. It is the Great Reset after all. So how ready are you for these changes as we go into this new paradigm, a paradigm? This is it. This is a new part of the money system that's being formed at the moment. Adapt 2030 
And my Patriot Supply, the three-month emergency food supply, it's all about the food and control of the food. And as these changes happen so swiftly, you're going to want to be able to adjust to them and hunker down for a little while, stay out of the chaos, let things settle, and then go back out. This emergency food supply allows you to do just that. Give yourself the peace of mind knowing you have storable foods when others don't. That link's in the description box below, again, with all of the data from tonight and all the stories. I do thank you for watching. Hope you got something out of the video, and I'll see you next time.